Hello Internet, this is not a repair video. Originally I thought I was going to do this video in, in order to find someone who could give me an advice. With this uh, 6900 XT that came in for repair a couple of months ago. And uh, originally I had rebolt the core and it seemed like the problem went away but it was crashing randomly and I couldn't pinpoint the reason for that so I told the customer hey this is a no fix whatever customer replied he was about to get the shipping label and uh, that was that was a month ago um, and so he never replied since I probably sent maybe six or seven emails since then and he did not reply he said he was waiting for a paycheck or something something some kind of a whatever so the bottom line is, I took the card out of the box today, and I plugged it in, and it started working. It just worked, and it worked, and it worked, and I ran it over and over and over, and it worked. I couldn't get it to crash. So my guess, original issue with a cracked starter joint under the core was fixed, but at the time, I was still experiencing crashing, and I suspect they were caused by the MSI afterburner. And the reason why I think that is because just today uh, I had a 6600 that would go 115% uh, on the fan if the afterburner is running, regardless of whether you reset it or not. Something about the afterburner and the AMD cards don't like each other. And so, but I had an older version of Afterburner back when I was fixing this card. Um, since then, I had the system reset several times, and uh, and only recently I updated the Afterburner. And I think that that was the cause for the crashes uh, that followed after the reball. So, which is good, um, but also bad for the customer because... If the customer were to respond in time, he would only pay for the repair attempt. Plus, uh, plus, card came in for an expedite repair, so he would pay for the expedite as well. But he wouldn't have to pay the full repair price. Uh, but now that the card is fixed, he would have to pay the full repair price. Uh, however, there's a problem with the customer. I cannot get a hold of the customer. It has been six emails that I sent to him and he hasn't responded to one of them. Um, his name is Richard Rose. The phone number that's on the label from the UPS is not his phone number. The address that's on the label is the UPS store address and there is no note in the box that I could use uh, that, you know, with his phone number or anything. So I have no idea how to get in contact with the customer. So the reason for this video is originally I, I thought I was going to get some uh, someone to help me out with uh, diagnosing the problem, uh, but two months later I figured it out. <laughs> uh, and so the reason for the video suddenly changed from help me to help me, help me fix the, the GPU to help me find the owner. And so hopefully uh, the owner will watch this and the owner's location, I think... Um, Given the fact that the label says Santa Rosa, California, it is safe to assume that the owner lives somewhere nearby. So hopefully, uh, if if the guy named Richard Rose from California, Santa Rosa, is watching this video, your card works. You need to contact me uh, because otherwise I'm going to sell it. Because um, I do not keep your GPUs here. I'm not a storage facility. Uh, as per agreement, I give you a month to take your GPU when I'm done with it. So if, if it stays over a month, I, I reserve the right to sell it per our agreement. So uh, that has never happened before, though there was a time where when I had to uh, hold on to a GPU for a little longer. Uh, it was a 4090. Uh, some kind of a story happened with the guy, whatever. Um, he ended up finally getting it back um, but um, so yeah so this is like a this video is basically a desperate attempt 
of getting a hold of a customer. So if I'm not going to get a hold of the customer, then, uh, well, then I'm going to give it away for free. It'll probably be a poll somewhere in uh, my future videos to the uh, top voted comment as, as before. So, because I, I don't feel like I have a moral right to take something that's mine, so I would rather give it away to somebody and let that be somebody else's problem. <laughs> sort of like I'm washing my hands off of this one. So, hopefully, hopefully this video will serve its purpose, which is to find the original owner so that they can get a hold of me via email that I keep sending that do not come back. So, um, and uh, also, uh, if you're experiencing uh, similar issues with like random crashes and you have an AMD, I've, I've noticed this behavior with the 6800, 6900s, it, just random crashing. If, if, if you're having an afterburner, close the afterburner, see if that helps. And if not, then maybe you can s switch to NVIDIA, at least it doesn't have weird problems like this one. So, goodbye.